Hey everyone, this is Dan from Profoto. This video is an overview of the grids functionality in Profoto 6. Um, this video is being shot during the beta period, so there's a slight chance things could possibly change down the road, um, but overall the grid functionality is pretty stable, so hopefully this will give you a good idea of what grids are, um, how they work, and how you can use them on your own site and, and style them in different ways. So what is a grid? Um, it is a, a collection of images that act as links to different content within your site. So um, in this case here, we have grids uh, items that are links to pages within our site. You can have grids that link to pages in your site, posts, um, category archive pages, or even pro photo galleries that you've created. So it's just this nice little collection of thumbnail images that um, give the user an option to to link off to other content within your, sti your site. Now there are two um, styles of grids. This particular style that you're seeing here is a, a rollover grid or overlay grid where when you hover on it um, the text and the link uh, appear. Another style is the text below grid which you see here in this case the the page titles appear below that acts as a link as well as the image but um, those are the two styles the rollover and the text below. To to style those two types of grids in your Profoto customizer if you go down to the grids area you see two tabs here um, style text below style rollover and this is where you can make all your um, selections for how these two particular styles of, of grids will look on your site. So in addition to the two styles we also have two layout types and the first that you can see here on these two pages is a cropped grid where all the thumbnails have the exact same size and they are cropped to a specific ratio in this case it was three to two um, but the other layout style is a masonry style which you can see on this page here and that's where the original aspect ratio of the images is kept intact um, to kind of give a more varied uh, look. So you can see we have some landscape and portrait images here. So those are the two layout styles, the masonry here and then the crop style. So as for adding grids to your site, you have two options for that. You can insert grids right into a poster page um, to do that. In the editor screen, you would just select New Grid from the Profoto dropdown and make your selections and then insert that way. The other option is um, you can also insert grids via widgets. So in the layout editor screen of the customizer, you can just click to add a widget, choose the Profoto grid widget, make your selections and insert that way. So that way you can have a, a a grid widget appear in one of your design elements right uh, within your template here. Um, so you can insert into posts or pages or via widgets. Now another option for displaying grids on your site if you're interested is um, if you want excerpts to appear in grids you can go to the content section of the editor um, and select the excerpts tab and on your any page type where you've chosen to show excerpts the one of the options for the excerpt style is grid so if you say for example on your category archive pages you want the the um, posts on those to appear in a grid layout this is where you can can set that as well so that's just another option for displaying grids on on your site now as for inserting one um, we'll just go through the options real quick here we're going again we'll do this just say in a page um, first you select the grid type and you can choose from recent posts and um, your profile galleries, categories, or selected posts or pages. So you can first you select the type. We'll just select a selected posts and pages type. Choose the style, uh, text below or text on rollover. Again, we talked about that before. The layout type, the cropped or the masonry. And then new to Profoto uh, 6 are sizing options. And these are available because Profoto 6 is, is fully responsive now and the grids themselves are responsive. They will rearrange um, based on display size. And so um, these are some controls to help you with that. The first setting gutter is base is just the the uh, spacing between the grid thumbnails. The max columns is the number of columns at which the grid will never extend beyond. So 
in this case it's set to four even if the screen was really large um, and the, the grid extended full width it would never go beyond four columns um, the min width is the thumbnail size at which you you never want the thumbnails to get smaller so in this case it'd be 200 pixels so even if the screen gets really small the, the thumbnails will never go below 200 pixels in width um, the ideal width is the one we'd like uh, Profoto to try and maintain no matter the the size of the screen so in this case it's 300 pixels and so on any screen size um, Profoto will will try and target that particular ideal width and then the max width is um, the the thumbnail width at which the thumbnails will never get larger so based on these sizes it is important just to remember um, or to note rather I guess that the the images that you have in your posts or pages or featured image that you've set um, to be the grid thumbnail has to be uploaded larger uh, than these sizes so for example we have these settings here if if you just had a, a featured image or at say you know just 200 pixels um, Profoto can never make the thumbnail larger than that it, it can always Profoto can always downsize larger images to fit these uh, width settings but it can never upsize small images so you just want to make sure that the images in your posts or pages or the featured image that you've set for a poster page is um, larger than these settings here so that Profoto can downsize it uh, accordingly so those are the settings once you insert and then once you've selected everything you would just click insert grid now we're real quick here just show you the res like we were saying that since 6 is responsive um, it will change so as you can see as our screen gets larger you can see those thumbnails got larger and then the the number of columns shifted here in in this case to that maximum number of four and as we make it smaller the thumbnails rearrange themselves resize themselves um, even on the screen here now we're down to just one column um, but as you can see the grids are very powerful and flexible now in, in Pro Photo 6 with it being fully responsive. So hope that helps. Um, if you want, there's also the text tutorials on our site, uh, support site that talk more about grids as well. You could check those out. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.